from PCI Media Center. Welcome back to the new PCI Daily Live News Roundup, brought to you by Philippine Canadian Inquirer, the only Filipino Canadian newspaper distributed across Canada. I'm Manny Noel Abel. Thank you for joining us. We have the latest news development in the news. Government files criminal case against the Lima. The Justice Department filed a criminal case against Senator Lila de Lima on Wednesday. The case filed was when she deliberately skipped the inquiry from the House of Representatives. During the inquiry proceedings at the House of Representatives, the 23-year-old daughter, Ronnie Diane Hannah May, testified and revealed the same text messages with de Lima advising him to go into hiding and to ignore the legislative summons. National Prosecution Service found a cause to charge her with Article 150 from the revised penal code that summarizes the disobedience to summons. The Lima said in a statement that there's no basis to charge her because this house inquiry is not a criminal proceeding. She also said that she's willing to face the charges against her in court. CHR to investigate Duterte's killings. The Commission on Human Rights will investigate the so-called Dava Vet Squad, or DDS, after responding to a call from Zaid Rad al Hussein yesterday. The United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights said that the Philippine authorities should investigate the killings, including the recent admission of President Rodrigo Duterte, that he was involved in some of the killings when he was still mayor of Davao City. CHR Chairman Chito Gascon said the matter would be taken into account in the ongoing probe of the alleged vigilante group tied to the chief executive. Gascon agreed, saying law enforcement agencies such as the police, the National Bureau of Investigation, the Ombudsman and the prosecutors under the Department of Justice must investigate any information suggesting that a crime has been committed. The CHR is limited to conducting fact finding investigations with the results mainly recommendatory in nature. Duterte maintains excellent trust rating. President Rodrigo Duterte maintains his excellent trust rating according to Social Weather Station report after more than five months in office. According to SWS, Duterte got a plus 72 net trust rating. However, this excellent figure decreased from September survey wherein he got a plus 76. The survey was done by SWS based on live interviews from 1,500 individuals dated December 3 to 6 in different parts of the country. Once again, thank you for joining us here at PCI Daily Live News Roundup. With me, of course, are my Philippine team, Debbie Mangabat, our news editor, and Gino Alcantara, our graphics design artist and video editor. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye for now. Looking forward to Christmas on Sunday.